Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dotted line in Adobe Photoshop. First, I'll show you the solution that's worked for me. And secondly, I'll show you why I'm not using the line tool. So for the first method, I want you to go to the pen tool, P for shortcut. And we want shape with a fill of none. Select your stroke color, which can be a gradient or a solid color. I'm going to choose a linear gradient and whatever font weight, and then select the dotted line for the stroke options. If you need to look at any more options, such as the gap, you can change that here with the more options button. I'm going to keep it at two. And you can look at some of my other settings. So with the pen tool selected, I'm going to click to create a point and hold down shift to create a straight dotted line. You could also do a vertical line if you go back to the move tool and pen tool again to create a separate shape layer. Holding down shift will get you a constrained line. Or you can also add points and change the curvature. You can also go to freeform pen tool where you can custom draw that dotted line shape. So next I'm going to show you why I didn't use the line tool. If you go to the line tool, U for shortcut, it's also under the shapes tool. And with the similar settings of shape, fill of none, stroke, and dotted line, let's just draw a line. So I'm clicking and holding down shift, and now I have a line. So the dots on this are not round dots. We have a strange offset happening. So if we actually go to our anchor point, white arrow, and click and drag, we actually have a box. The line tool creates a rectangle shape, which we don't want. And if we try to delete one of the sides, we can do that by selecting anchor points with the white arrow, and then use the anchor point of the pen tool to adjust the line. So there's kind of an extra step there. If I go back to the original line shape, you'll notice in the properties panel that we can adjust the appearance. However, if we go to the path shape, those settings are not within the properties panel, but you can still adjust them up here in the top toolbar and this drop down with the stroke options and more options if you needed to change that later. I hope this video helped you better understand how to create a dotted line and the differences between using the pen tool versus the line tool and how to adjust those settings. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care.